Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, we'll explore fade envelopes and gain envelopes in Adobe Audition. If you're enjoying the stuff I put out on my channel, please do hit the like button on this video. Also remember to subscribe and ding that bell so you never miss another audio production tutorial from me. Here for this example, I've got a piece of music, simple piece of music from our production library number six. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And I'm going to show you how these effects work in amplitude and compression and why you might use them. So fade envelope is really, really simple. Essentially, it will provide a fade to the whole of your audio piece. Now, this can be really handy. For instance, if you have like a bell curve here, you are literally fading your audio out like this. And you can shape it using these keyframes as well. If you're not quite happy with how exactly it is, you can move these presets around ever so slightly. So this will now gradually fade this music out over time. Let's fade through here a bit. And you'll hear it just gradually fades out, gets quieter and quieter and quieter. So if you want to do a really nice smooth fade, say you've produced a music track and you want it to just slowly fade out, or maybe you're just introducing a podcast and you want a nice smooth fade rather than a sharp fade down, the bell curve is pretty good. You've got other stuff as well, smooth attack where it fades something in slowly over time, zigzag cut like this. It can fade you up and down at the same time and then back up again. All of this is possible with your fade envelope. You can also smooth the ends if you want to smooth fade in or fade out on things. Um, so that does fades on your audio, but it's always going to keep it at the consistent high volume. If you want to go into more detail and change the gain throughout, that will mean you'll need to go to gain envelope where you can do all kinds of things like you can bump audio up by 3 dB. Uh, so from the start, fading slowly up to 3 dB and back down. This might be good for a music track that you want to increase in volume. You can smooth the ends like this and you can draw on keyframes wherever you want. Unlike the fade envelope, which is just about the fade, you can actually bump up audio wherever you want. And of course, if you do a selection, it's going to uh, put it inside the selection or the whole thing. So you can really go through. But really, this process is also available inside multi-track. If you start a new multi-track session, I'll call it gain, bring this music track in. You've got this kind of same gain envelope here, which can increase and decrease the volume. And also, if we pop out the automation lines, you can do it here on a track level basis as well, just like that. So really, both of those are pretty old school effects. I don't really use fade envelope or gain envelope a lot, but they're there and it's really good to know what they do. If you would like to know even more about Adobe Audition, my courses are now open for enrollment at mrc.fm forward slash learn. Would love to have you in there. mrc.fm forward slash learn. Music Radio